Hi, it's Russ here from the Air Users blog, and I put up a story on the blog today talking about the update to uh, Nyrink V Control Pro. So that's a 1.5, and the cool new feature is V Window. And some people have asked me questions, so I thought the best way to show you was to actually just make a video so you could see it in action. One of the big questions is can you really use your plugins on V Control? So the new option is here now. You hit this button, and you get up this uh, window. At the moment, you can see that I've got half of uh, an expand in there. And what I can do instead, I can just select and I can choose expand to full window now and then I can control it fully like that. As you can see, that's all going up and down and that's doing exactly the same on screen as I do it, which is really quite cool. And then at the same time, I can do other things like I can obviously move the pans about like that. So it's all completely controllable. I can go down and choose a new patch. There's the MIDI and there's, there's the patches and I'm going to a patch there and choose a patch like that. So it is completely controllable which was the question somebody was asking me. The only thing, of course, is that if you've got fingers like mine, which are builder's fingers rather than ballet fingers, then it could be a bit problematic. The cool thing is as well, of course, though, is you can go to full screen, uh, which was I was just in. You can adjust it and go to different parts of the screen so you can move it around. If it wasn't filling the whole screen, so if I go back out and I select something like my there's a, a full edit window there. What I can do, I can go to adjust then. I can move around the edit window and do things like that. So I need to get down here in the edit window. I can do that and done. Uh, and of course, if I then zoom in on my keyboard here, using the keyboard on my Mac to zoom in, I can do things like that. And you can do all the normal things that you would do. So if we just uh, close expand for a second, and I think it's just a case of get, getting a combination, getting things uh, worked out between. So if I double, double click on that, I can mark that and grab it and move it around like that. So you can still do things like that. Uh, and I can go into my edits here. I make that bigger on the window here. You can do it on the on the on the V control, but I think to be honest, it's kind of a combination of both. So I'm in on the, I'm in on that now. Uh, and if I have uh, my tools, I can then go through and mark things like that. So I think you need to combine. You can use all the all the tools on it. They're, they're all in here. Get the edit mix stuff like that, and we can go in and uh, go into the tools if we want to. And there's like a keypad there you can use for the start and stop, and mark in and out. Uh, so there's all that you can do. But as I say, I'm tending to use it like this. I'm tending to mark something if I want to do it on my iPad, and then I can press Command D and use the key keyboard shortcut. I've now done a split on that. Uh, and you can't do things like that. You can't push in and out, which is would, which would be really nice. Well, at least I can't get it to do that. If you can, then tell me. But uh, I'm, I don't think you can. So we can do things like that. Uh, what's even cooler, if I've got another application open, uh, like my desktop, I can then see my desktop if I want to. And go select here now. And go to desktop. And go out if there is anything on the desktop. Is there other applications open? So if I quickly went to my uh, I had Firefox or something open, I can then start looking at different applications. Although, to be honest, that's not really. So I can look at there. I can look at there's a BBC website. I can look at that now. Uh, but what's the point of that? It's it's a nice feature. But uh, as I say, it's really for, for Pro Tools. So I can come back out to the Mix Windows. But in a real sense, you wouldn't go into the Mix Window from there. You'd use the Mix Window here. And then, as you can see, you've got full control. I want to open up uh, Expand. I just go on there. Turn it on and off. I can see it if I want to see it. Got the window, and now that's open on screen. Then I can come here and select it, and then start editing it in here. As I say, all fully controllable from here, which is really nice. But as I say, uh, if you've got builder's hands, it might be a bit tough to do it. But it's a it's a great start. And to be honest, for forty nine dollars, uh, there's not much to touch it. I think they've done a fantastic job. So if you haven't already got V Control, V Control Pro and you're thinking of getting it now, now's a great time to get it. I bought it before it did all of this. I bought it when it was really basically just the mix and the controls and stuff like that, but now this is getting really cool, and I'd love to see what they do next. So there we are, and it's also now got some options for if you come in here. You can now choose Cubase, Fruity Loops, Live, Logic 9, Pro Tools, Reaper, Reason, Studio One, and Traction. So it controls loads more DAWs as well, but as I say, I'm using it in Pro Tools, and uh, I think, as I say, 50 bucks is a steal. Uh, 
it's up to you at the end of the day but I thought I'd make this video so you could see how uh, it can be controlled and what it can control and how deep you can go I hope that's been a help thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon